Another busy week for you, Senator. One of your measures, I believe, in committee this week, some reform measures on the Big Government Get Off My Back Act? Yes, Senate Bill 183, which I'd filed the Big Government Get Off My Back Act, which basically says no new rules or regulations on our small businesses so they can focus on marketing and selling their product versus trying to fill out and understand more new government paperwork. And then it also gives a tax deduction for small businesses with 100 employees or less that hire additional workers and pay at least the average count. Wage. This bill is truly meant for our Main Street businesses in Marshall, Carrollton, Warrensburg, Fayette, all over the district, not our Wall Street businesses. So our small businesses need some help, and hopefully this will be one measure that will be able to help them. What's the feeling you're getting for acceptance of this? How well do you think it'll do? The committee and my colleagues, as well as my constituents, have been very supportive, and everyone believes in this climate that government just needs to stay out of the way so our small businesses can thrive. Another of your bills heard in committee this week, one that deals with uh, specific service dogs. Yes. My Senate Bill 335 was voted out of the Senate committee this week, 7 to 0. It basically adds mental health service dogs to the definition of service dog. According to the ADA, mental health service dogs are already included, and we just wanted to clear up some state statute to make sure that those people that are dealing with possible PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, epilepsy, schizophrenia, or any other number of mental health illnesses, their service animal would also be covered under this legislation. This is a situation where we've heard a lot about how well service dogs are helpful with veterans and a lot of people on a lot of different things and the kind of technology, but the understanding that the animal has of humans is quite impressive. Yes, these service dogs are very impressive and they can tell when someone may be getting ready to have a seizure, when someone might have an anxiety or panic attack, and they can react to those. Or if someone with Alzheimer's was lost, they could take that person back to retrace their steps and take them back to their home or wherever that they came from. So these service animals are used all over in our different communities. And I think it's only appropriate that mental health service dogs have the same treatment as our other service animals, such as hearing dogs and seeing eye dogs.